Hey guys, how's it going? Um, doing a video on Clemsilia pneumonia. Uh, it's an antibiotic resistant pneumonia. And I dug a little bit on this topic. Uh, I told you guys I would. Uh, so what I found that really is interesting to me is when I typed in Clemsilia pneumoniae and went to the Wikipedia site, it says that it naturally occurs in the soil. 30% of the strains can fix nitrogen in anaerobic conditions as a free-living diazotroph. Its nitrogen fixation system has been much studied and is of agricultural interest. K pneumonia has been demonstrated to increase crop yields in agricultural conditions. Hmm. Interesting. First thing that comes to my mind is have they been spraying this shit? Sorry, my language. Have they been spraying this Clebsilia with chemtrails? And it, them knowing that it's coming over the crops to increase crop yield. Now, I thought that's what GMOs were for, for to increase crop yields. So that kind of interest was interesting to me. Pete, the little alarm went off and had a question when I read that. Um, <clears throat> seems that only one or two, three, one, two, three antibiotics work for it supposedly by Merck. I was looking that up. Um, one of them is Invans, Promaxin, and Velox. And well, I also had another question that came to mind. Merle Haggard. He died in pneumonia. Wonder if he died from the same thing. Uh, but apparently, it is mostly the only way you can get it is person to person contact. Like if someone has an open wound and they have it and you touch them, and you stick your finger in your mouth, you probably are going to get it. And hospitals. Um, it kills 50% of the people that get it. Uh, so, I'm not too worried about it, though, from what I've found in my info research. Um, so, I don't think it's that big a deal, because they said it's been around forever, and it's just that the strains are of the uh, Clebsilia are growing stronger to where our antibiotics don't work. Um, so some of the side effects are uh, that you get from it. Uh, it gets into area others area other areas of your body. So you get pneumonia, bloodstream infections, wound infections, surgical site infections, meningitis urinary tract infections, um, what else, what are the symptoms, symptoms are like flu, um, what else, basically flu type symptoms, oh you hack up blood and yellow pus because you get little pus pockets in your lungs, um, so I don't know if the CDC guy was going to blow the whistle on this because it seems that it might be an outbreak. But if you recall, like MRSA back in like the early 2000s, that was like a big deal back then. And it was on a big rampant rage back in hospitals then. So as long as I think you're out of hospitals and you kind of use common sense and steer clear from touching sick people and their open wounds, I think you're going to be okay. Um, <clears throat> that's just my personal opinion on it, but I never take any vaccines or anything. I, I'm a bad germs or good germs 
type of theory person, so I don't really go to the doctors. I, last time I went to the doctors was when I was got hit by a truck on my bike, on my bicycle. So I don't really ever go. Um, so healthy as a horse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, arms are a little sensitive. I got a new tattoo today. So I don't know if you can see it. New tattoo today. It says prepared tribesmen. That's my little buddy right there. He goes with me everywhere I go. He's attached to me at the hip. Um, so that's about it on that. I don't think there's really anything to worry about. Um, I was researching like into Antarctica and see, because I know they found some bacteria in Antarctica in one of the lakes that they drilled down into. Um, so I was trying to think if it was connected to that, but I didn't find any connections. I emailed one of the guy, the head dudes there, Swalomer M. Tolesic. He's a professor from uh, Santa Cruz University. So I emailed him just to see, but I haven't heard anything back to see what the bacteria was that they found there. Um, so I don't know. I think all the strains, blues, and everything is going to progress as we try and fight them with uh, modern medicine. Uh, I don't think there's any way around that. So that's why I believe in my good germ, bad germ theory. Uh, that's about it. So I wouldn't be too alarmed unless you're in and out of the hospital all the time then I may have some concerns. Oh, and don't let them put like the little scope down your throat because I was researching with that like tools really hard to clean. Even if you clean it per recommend or per manufacturer's recommendations, if you clean it that way, it's still hard to get to sterilize. And that's a way that this is spread Clebacillia pneumonia is spread inside the hospitals. And like if someone has it and the nurse touches that person and then comes in and touches you, you're probably going to get it. So just like MRSA back in the day when that was all rampant in the hospitals, you know, I know a guy that had it in the hospital. And when you walk in the hospital, see him, it's like, you don't, you are like this, all like sucked up, sucked in, not touching anything, not sitting in any chairs is kind of crazy because I, I've had staff before. That's what MRSA is. It's a strain of staff. I had staff before. I was three days from dying uh, before I went to the doctors. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just tough it out. Uh, so I went to the doctors and had all that stuff. But uh, so I just keep an eye on it. Uh, symptoms, cough, uh, blood. Chills, chest pain, high fever, respiratory distress, flu-like symptoms. Uh, that's about it. If you have any of those and you're in and out of the hospital all the time, you might want to go back in to get a checkup, but then you're going back into, you know, the lion's den, essentially again. And if you didn't have it, you may get it this time. So I don't know what the answer is. Just live life with a happy face on <laughs> and smile. Uh, that's about it. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. I thought it was going to be like some big outbreak, like they're making it sound like some chemical weapon is going to spread and you're going to get it if you're unhealthy. Um, <clears throat> so plus if you just have like, lung diseases, uh, people with diabetics, those people are more success, susceptible, low immune systems. Uh, so, if you have a low immune system, hospital patient, diabetic, or chronic lung diseases, you may want to watch out. Oh, excessive alcohol consumption. Glad I don't drink no more. Uh, but that was it. So, I'm not worried about it, really, personally. But you can take what you want with the information on this video. I will put a couple links up down below. Uh, that's about it.
talk to you guys later.